because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mix 105.1 is lighting the town pink, which is one of my favorite things that we do every single year. And of course, this year we are joined by Florida Cancer Specialist today. Dr. Schroff is with us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. So first, let's dive into preventative. What can we do to prevent breast cancer? I think every woman needs to be once they're the age of 40 or have had a first degree relative, meaning a mom, sister, daughter with breast cancer, yeah. go see your doctor, get a mammogram. I'm asking this question because I had a friend or I have a friend who was 28 years old and she noticed something in her breast and she's like, you know, I doubt that it's anything. And actually doctor sent her away. Her primary was sending her away. He's like, you're fine. It's just probably, you know, she goes, no, no, no. Like I am advocating for myself. She kept pushing, pushing, pushing. So finally, they did all of the testing, and it was, in fact, breast cancer. From your perspective, are you seeing younger patients more often now? I think awareness has led to us finding it in younger patients, also the knowledge of genetics and seeing if you've had family members with it. Yes. But even women under the age of 40, if you feel something abnormal, you feel something's wrong, make sure you get follow-up on it. A lot of people, you know, for me, and I don't know how much they briefed you, but um, 2021, I was actually diagnosed with stage three colorectal cancer, which, you know, is not breast, breast cancer, but it is cancer. And for me, it was a huge surprise. And I actually came to um, Florida Cancer Specialist. You guys helped me through the whole process. And as a patient, I have to say um, the support and love and knowledge that I got there. I mean, you walk in and as a patient, you're not expecting to get that news, but once you do get that news, you really have to lean on the people who know what to do. Um, in your experience, what would the first, I don't know, one or two, three things that a patient would need to do to sort of wrap their brain around and prepare? Um, I know that you guys, for instance, I know that you guys have therapy there and people to, to help out. I think there's a lot of different things that you need to do. You need to be open-minded. You need to realize that your story is not going to be the story that everyone else has shared with you. Yeah. Uh, listening to your team. We work as a team together. I think that's one of the things that make us unique. Yeah. Um, you'll, have, you'll have an entire team working with you, specifically for you. What are the early signs to look for, specifically for breast cancer? Any palpable mass, any changes in your breast that don't seem to go away despite your cycle or lumps, nipple discharge, any changes in skin color, anything in your arm, any pain. Um, it doesn't even have to have pain. Most of the time, in fact, cancers don't have pain. And that's, yeah, and you brought, I mean, I had no idea that I had cancer. I went in for a, just a simple checkup because my story is a long story, but I had no idea. And so I went in and I got my sigmoidoscopy um, and I did that and then I was diagnosed. It was just such a huge surprise. So I have to say coming in there, getting diagnosed, um, at the time I was with Dr. Dietrich. I think you may know him and he was wonderful. I mean, all of the doctors in there, all of the nurses sitting in there, having a book to read, we would share lunch. I mean, you know, I just felt like it was a safe environment and I even still to this day really look forward to going in for my checkups and my blood work and my labs because I love seeing the people who became my family. Yeah, we, we do like to take care of everybody like they are family and we hope for long lasting relationships and hopefully good outcomes. I want every female to think about just getting checked, uh, whether you have insurance or not. Please, please go get a mammogram if you're above the age 40 and older. Mm -hmm. If you feel anything different, regardless of age, you're never too old. Some people say you're too old to be going to go get a mammogram. Yeah. Um, I think everyone needs to pay attention to their bodies, do self exams, and healthy living. Um, you know, no more than a cup of caffeine a day, eating a healthy, well balanced diet. All these things impact how we do. And if we find a cancer and we find it earlier, mm -hmm. people tend to do better. Right. Uh, we're finding things earlier in people and people are living longer cancer free. And I think that's important. Yeah. And it's not so scary once once you know, once you have a plan in place. No, we, we try to make a plan with you. We offer clinical trials. We do a lot of new novel therapies. We do immunotherapy, which is using your own, um, own immune system for some cancers. And everybody's 
treatment is different because right. everybody's story is different. Mm -hmm. And you brought up a good um, point as far as diets and watching what you eat. I know um, after my diagnosis, I really started leaning towards fruits and vegetables, everything kind of natural. I think it has to make such a difference. Would you agree with that? I, I think that eating a very well-balanced fruits and vegetables, well-balanced diet, nothing in excess. Of course, we have some more information at floridacancer.com to learn more, spreading awareness and taking care of our health, being our own biggest advocate. Thank you so much for everything. We really appreciate you coming through. Thank you for having us.